Some of you might not know that actually backing up your Windows installation is super easy. So today let's talk about how you can back up your Windows 10 installation. The requirements you need right off the bat is of course a computer. So I have my desktop back here, but really anything that runs Windows 10 or really even any installation of Windows is probably gonna work the same exact way because Windows is pretty, it really doesn't change a whole lot to be honest with you. But uh, basically anything that runs Windows 10, then you need an external drive, which is at least the size of your OS hard drive. So in my case, it's a terabyte. That's a pretty good safe bet as a terabyte because usually that'll store pretty much everything you want it to store. Um, if you want to check the, the size of your OS drive, you can go down uh, under, it'll probably be on your taskbar, but if, it, but if it isn't, just go to File Explorer and then go to this PC. And there's my, uh, my OS drive right there, which is 446 gigabytes. So a terabyte is going to work just fine for our purposes. So once you do that, just plug in your uh, external drive to preferably a USB 3.0 port because it'll be significantly faster. But if you have to do it, USB 2.0, then you got to do what you got to do. So then my hard drive came up right away. If it doesn't, then just go down to File Viewer again and go ahead and check it out. I have a lot of my old backups on here and uh, some of these folders probably don't. Uh, yeah, it's just a lot of videos that I have backed up on here. So uh, first, what I'm going to do to this drive is just format it, which is going to delete everything off on it because I don't know it's just going to work better to have this drive just fresh for a uh, basically for a uh, you know backup hard drive so we can do that by going back to this PC right click on the hard drive and then go to format and then uh, here's some settings here so uh, NTFS is what works with Windows XFAT should work with Windows and uh, Apple computers but I don't need Apple computers so NTFS kind of works better for Windows at least in my experience uh, I wouldn't even worry about allocation size. I wouldn't really worry about anything like that. Just go ahead and click start. And it deleted everything on my hard drive, which I don't really care. So yeah, now it's a fresh drive and it's ready for the backup. Easiest way to get to the backup is just press the Windows button and then type backup. Uh, and then shabam, look at that. It's coming right up. Uh, that's, that's the easiest thing to find things all that time. So just press the Windows button, type whatever you want to find, and it'll come up with it. So then we can go to Setup Backup and wait for it to start. We can go ahead or pick our drive. It recommends that drive probably because we just went ahead and formatted it. Of course, you need to pick the correct drive. Like I have mine named, so like obviously I'm not going to put it on a DVD. Uh, this is an internal hard drive. Don't want to use that. This is my external drive right here. I want to use that. Uh, so and then if you want to save on a network, you could. But oh my God, that'd be way more confusing than that. We don't need to talk about that in this video. So I'm just gonna click on that hard drive that I'm gonna use. Uh, I'll go ahead and let Windows choose. It makes it just way more simple. It's gonna go ahead and save up a lot of your user files. It's gonna make a Windows uh, system image that you can use in case that Windows ever has an issue. You can have it reinstalled and stuff like that. So uh, I just kind of would just do that. And then we can go ahead and save settings and run our backup. So right now it's running the backup. It could, I mean, really how long it takes just depends how much stuff you have. If you have the hard drive plugged into USB 3.0 port and a whole lot of other factors. Um, basically, there, there's some other things you can change. You can schedule it to backup at, on a certain day of your week. So like right off the bat, it says it should do it at Sunday at 7 p.m. So just schedule it to whatever works for your schedule, of course. And then uh, it shows you the contents, shows you when it was backed up, show you when it's gonna be backed up next, and uh, shows you how much space is on there, blah, -de blah, 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 cool stuff. And you can even click view details right here, and then it'll come up with this uh, telling you what's in progress and everything. So that's kind of cool as well. So one of the reasons a backup is actually pretty important is because I work on computers for my own business and uh, pretty much, uh, I mean, th this happens all the time, especially with people with laptops. They have their hard drive go bad and they're like, oh man, I have like a million pictures of my kids on here and, you know, I have like files that I can't ever get back. And then sometimes if a hard drive is going bad, you can still get the files off of it and maybe it'll take a lot longer. You'll definitely probably have to take it to a repair place if you don't know how to work on computers. Um, but uh, and in a lot of cases, you can't get that stuff off at all, especially if you don't have any experience. So having backup is definitely a smart idea. Um, if you don't have anything that's very important, a backup isn't necessarily important because I don't really run a backup on this computer because I don't really have anything on there that's that fancy. I have everything on external drives. But if you save all your stuff on your computer in particular, you need to make a backup. And if you don't, then 
Um, if your hard drive ever goes bad, say goodbye to all your stuff because it could be gone. Not necessarily always, but it definitely could be gone. And about maybe like a half an hour later, my backup is done. So it's gonna vary how much stuff is on your computer, but just go ahead and let it run. Really doesn't take too long. It would take you way longer to back all this stuff up manually. Uh, and then of course, it'll do it um, every Sunday at 7 p.m. For my, for my situation, but you can also change these settings and just kind of pick whenever you want it to back up. Uh, if you guys want to go ahead and manage space, you can see how much space is on the dial fi data file backup, the system image for uh, restoring Windows, and then the other files. The system image actually takes up quite a bit of space, but uh, it's definitely worth having all that stuff backed up. So, uh, and then you can check all the backups that you have on there if you guys want to, if you want to remove some other backups and stuff like that. Um, and then you can also change other settings on see what kind of files you want Windows backed up. So pretty cool stuff. It's pretty much ready to go at that point and it'll go uh, back up whenever, like for instance, like for right now it tells me it's gonna back up uh, next Sunday at 7 p.m. So pretty cool stuff. So thank you guys for checking out this video. If you do have any questions, leave those in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to help you guys out. Although sometimes it takes me like a day to get to the uh, comments. So uh, sorry about that. But anyways, thank you guys for checking out this video. Drop a like on it if you thought it was cool. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorials in the future. And I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Peace out.